Clouds. Locked. What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Today we're doing a few special things. For one, we just hit level 140. What's up? Freeze frame that. That's insane and got through donations. So that's really cool. And uh, I'm going to do some really hardcore farming for you guys. As you can see, just donating to Tiff. And then we will get into it. Only one more thing I want to tell you besides for the hardcore farming you're about to see. World Zombination Expert is my other channel I have. And World Zombination is a game made by Proletaria. It just came out. It went global today. Here is uh, what it looks like as a thumbnail I made. If you want to watch the gameplay, go check it out. I'll link you to a video in the description below. I'll also link you to the free download for the game. I highly recommend you try it. It's really epic, guys. Definitely go download that and try it today. I'm a survivor. I uh, just started playing zombies. So let me know what side you choose to be off the bat and uh, which one you prefer and what you think of the game in the comments below. Also, like this video if you're enjoying the content and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Guys, as you can see, dropping this lightning down, taking out these mortars as much as possible. Oh, man, terrible luck. That mortar has no health on it, but it survives. So I already have 462 dark uh, just from collateral damage. That's pretty awesome. And look at this. The tunnel's on one side, all the loot's on the other. So we're going to try and steal as much as possible. About a million loot showing and 6,000 dark was on the board. How much dark elixir can we steal? Can we get it all? You know I'm definitely going to try. So we are farming dark as much as possible. Going for those heroes to max level. So let's go ahead and steal some dark elixir. We're dropping our troops down here. And you can see just crushing that dark elixir mine real quick. And trying to clean the outside up so I can get some archers down. And get that one dark elixir mine on the inside of that wall. And then we'll focus on the right side of this base. And try and take the east side out as strongly as possible. Here we go. Got the second mine down. And already we have 2,500 dark elixir. That is epic. Gotta love that dark elixir steal already. Wall breaking in. Going past this wizard tower hopefully. Without losing too many goblins. Let's see here how it goes. Not huge hopes. But it, uh, it works out. Look at that. Boom. Nice. So we do manage to get through. And if I was really smart. I would have attacked from that north side again. With the rest of my uh, wall breakers. However, I was really, really money hungry for the gold and elixir, so I went from the bottom right. Probably not the best idea, but it's okay. We dropped down our queen and hoped that she'd take out a bunch of the stuff, including that wizard tower. However, balloons do come out of the clan castle, which is really bad news for my hero. If they target her at all, she will die instantly. So she is getting a little too close to them for my liking. So when she does get targeted, I will invis her and hope they do walk away. Uh, it's getting really, really close. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Okay, Invis. I do not want her to die, and they would have killed her instantly if they had targeted her. So we did have to get rid of her invisibility, unfortunately. And this means... Oh, look at that. The king just died while he's in midair. That's pretty awesome. He's kind of floating over the elixir storage. Got like that. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, he looks like a little dead angel, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Anyway, guys, we are going to finish this raid out here, unpause it, and the queen does die, but we do steal 3,500 dark elixir, 200,000 gold, and 150,000 elixir. Gotta love that. Let's show one more raid, uh, maybe two more, we'll see, and that will be the end of the video. So, I need one other thing from you guys besides going to download World Zombination, give me feedback on that. I do want feedback on some new series ideas. Would you guys like it if I do a gem to max or a farm to max for my heroes? I would much rather farm to max on it, and I think that would be a lot more entertaining. But if you prefer a gem to max, I'll put two comments in the comments below. One says farm, one says gem. Make sure you go ahead and like the one you want to see, and I will consider it. Now, finding these easy bases... Got real lucky here. Look at all this gold and elixir. Not a ton of dark being stolen. About 1,700 so far. I'm pretty confident we'll get all of it, though. It's nice and easy to get in that corner. But the real win on this was the fact that we got 400,000 gold, 436,000 elixir, and uh, climbing very slowly. But basically, 850,000 loot along with what's going to be 2,000 dark elixir, basically. That's insane, and we didn't even have to like do anything to get it. It was very easy to get a hold of. Gotta love those easy finds. It's so rare to find 400,000 in a collector base. That's that's unheard of. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually seen that. Well, actually I have, but it's been like four or five months since I've actually seen that for sure. It's really, really rare. Normally you see like 200,000 or 150,000 in the collectors, maybe even 250 or 300-ish, but never 400 flat out. That's nuts. Now, 
We are finding another base. This is more common, about 200,000 of each in those mines on the outside and about 3,500 Dark Elixir. Let's see if we can get it all, though. Should be a little more difficult to get this Dark Elixir. I don't know if I'll be able to, guys, to be honest. It is pretty well protected in the center there, and I don't have any Lightnings to actually use. So it's going to be a little more difficult, and I'm not really that confident in the Dark, but the easy 300,000 gold was what I was going for and 250,000 Elixir. Of course, I am also going for upgrading my walls, so I do need loot. So if I find an easy base like this, I do not pass it by. I do just take all the loot and leave. But I mainly am searching for Dark Elixir, and if I find an easy kill, I, of course, take it. Now, 48%, 50%, there it is. We also got the win, which means we get an extra 100, uh, 65k of each because I'm in Crystal 1. And then I think it's like 300 Dark Elixir. Nothing too crazy, but a nice little bonus just for invising my queen, basically. I do have a few troops left. I'll just drop them, let them die, see if we can get anywhere. We're not going to, though. And that'll be the end, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. I got all the sneak peeks coming out tomorrow, so don't miss that. That'll be a lot of fun, and I will see you guys then. Peace.